Hey, Air Signs. Kay Pisces here, and here is your bone reading. Now, I have the Nine of Hearts, Five of Hearts, King of Spades, and the Three of Clubs. Now, I'm getting a few things, but let me just tell you what the first thing is. I mean, like I said, this can be related to love or money, work, career, whatever, but I'm a love reader, so <laughs> you're going to get what you get. Okay, anyway. So the first thing I see is something that may have given you great joy at one point, or you may feel like a winner, or you may felt like you're in a good spot, has turned to shit, honey. I mean, like somebody either is getting cold as fuck, and you feeling like, I gotta make an exit strategy to this thing, or somebody may be feeling this way about you, but maybe it's a job. Maybe you ready to get the fuck up out of here because it's just not what it used to be. Maybe you wanted it so, it's, it just seemed like it's something that you may have wanted so bad for some reason, whatever the fuck the reason is. I mean, you choose. It's like, it's turned out to be sugar to shit, okay? Sugar to shit. And you thinking about, am I gonna have to get the hell out of here? Okay, I think there's some action going to be taken from you. It's just like, yeah, um, we go on in a different direction. You know, we phasing out. You know what I mean? I think you're going to be either telling this person goodbye because you know what? You really ain't sure what it is. Um, I just see somebody going somewhere. Now, maybe somebody's going to go somewhere on a trip or something like that. And maybe when you go on this trip, maybe that's when you realize that, mm, nah, I'm good on this. You know, um, I just think there's going to be some action taken and it's going to be taken real fucking soon. Now, there may be a move away involved or there seem like there's some kind of, oh, so what I see is somebody having somebody come stay at their place. Now, this may be different. This person is different from the person that you've been dealing with. Oh, what y'all doing? And um, you just feel like it may be something prom more promising somewhere else. You know, it's just like, I'm tired of telling you to do shit or telling you this and that like you five years old. You know, I'm just like, you know, I think you just over it to some degree and... You over it and you passed it and you realize that, you know, it got to be something better. I mean, always something better. You got to be, it's like I've outgrown this situation. No, this could be a person. This could be a job. Okay. You've outgrown it. That's what it feels like. Okay. Is somebody ready to move like to a bigger city or another country or some shit like that? Because it feels like. Somebody may make a move, but I think it's going to be like far away. Somewhere is exciting and open and, and whatever. It seemed like what you've been dealing with may be something that's drab and shit. It's been a lot on your mind. You feel like you've been held back and holding back for whatever reason it is. Maybe because you thought that, you know, you can spit shine this thing and just nah, you know, you can't spit shine this. It's just, this is like a done deal. And I feel like you have it on the tip of your tongue. You're ready to say Bye, bitch. But I think that you may be... Now, this may be happening to you or you. I'm just saying. I'm just reminding y'all. Now, it's going to be a big-ass to-do in a minute. I, I feel like something big about to happen with y'all. Maybe it's when you be like, yeah, um, skedaddle. You know, you just, you know, don't let the door hit you <laughs> on your way out, bitch. Um, it may be an argument and you, or maybe there's some internal argument. Maybe you argue with yourself about what you should do, but you know, honestly though, I mean, when you leave a job, do you think about the person that's going to replace you when you leave a job? Fuck no, I'm ready to go, bitch. And you know, you don't think about all that shit. And I think that that may be holding you back, worried about what this person will do when you don't want they ask or you disappear. But I think after so much of time goes by that you're going to be so happy that you realize the shit is dysfunctional as hell and it ain't supposed to be like that, that you're going to be like good riddance to bad rubbish, okay? For real. I don't know who else say that, but 
My grandma's from Pittsburgh, so she's from the city, so she was gonna get you though. Anyway, so good riddance to bad rubbish. Goodbye. Okay. I don't care how anybody feels about this. I don't give a fuck who won't get your ass after me. Bye, bye, bye to you. Bye to everybody. Arrivederci, Alvita Zane. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you ready to go. Okay. Oh my God. So what I see somebody do is put on like a bicycle helmet and like get on a scooter and leave. Now, what the hell does that mean? I don't know, but whatever. It just reminds me of the people used to be riding around, the older people, um, you know, in Florida. They ride around sometime on scooters and shit and just make me think about that shit. It's really funny. Anyway, so, um, okay, some of y'all going to be waiting for something else to come in. It's like, okay, so some of you may have been talking to somebody else and this person may be on and off between you and whoever you've been dealing with. And it feels like you have to, it's like you got to turn it back on. So you have to wait a little bit for this other person to be able to come around because they may have been some, seeing somebody else. And I mean, just dating them, not like with them and shit. They may be seeing somebody else and they're like, oh, your ass is single? Shit. Hey, big head, I'll be there in a minute. You know, one of them things, you know. And I think that I just really feel like you need to open yourself up to having more fun with other people. I think that that whatever you was in, it was like emotional trap. You know, I see somebody in a cage. It's like you want to get out, but then the doors open and you just sit there. You know, it's just like you was keeping yourself trapped in something. Now, I just really feel whatever it is that you're dealing with and whatever it is, you know, you just feel like there's, there's nothing more I can do with this. You know, it's just like, it makes me think of a, um, a bicycle, a bicycle with no wheels. What the fuck are you supposed to do with that? What the fuck am I supposed to do with this? I mean, what am I supposed to do? You ready to ride? You all ready to go and shit? And you turn around, don't have no wheels. Motorcycle, engine in it, everything ready. Y'all ready to go. You know what I'm saying? Turn around. Don't start, you know, you can have the best car in the world. You can have, you, I don't know, a, a Trans Am and shit. Look, <laughs> here I go. I just play with cars, my brother, you know what I'm saying? Match car and we're little. So you can have your T-top Trans Am, you know what I'm saying? From the eighties. I mean, that used to be my Pontiac and used to be my favorite car when I was a kid. Now it ain't, but anyway, back to you. It can be the best fucking car ever. It can, you have a T-top. And take this shit off and you ride and you know, you could have a convertible and you ride and it start pouring down rain. If the top don't work, fuck, I got a convertible. I don't have a fucking car, a regular car. And you pay 6000 more for that damn convertible. But it's fucking raining. It's worthless. If it don't have no top, if it's a monsoon in your lagoon, I'm just saying, I mean, y'all figured out, but um. I think that's all I have for you, air signs, and much love to y'all, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.